welcome back to another session of technical drawing in today's session i'm going to show you how to draw an isometric cube let me consider this question where they are asking you to draw an isometric cube of 40 millimeters side i'll be drawing this cube and this side of the a3 size paper so as always when you start drawing an isometric drawing we need a perpendicular so i'm going to draw a perpendicular construction line somewhere like this and then i'll be using that set square to draw a 30 degree line similarly i'll use the set square in this fashion and i'll draw one more 30 degree lines now i have one, two, and three axis of the isometric square. As mentioned, the square side is 40. So if I measure from here, this is 40 millimeters. So I'm drawing a straight line for 40 millimeters. Same thing, when I measure it like this, let me Make use of the other set square and I'll mark a dot at 40. This is 40 here. Likewise, on this side, this is going to be 40. Okay, I'm marking dots 40 millimeters apart. So now let me draw this. There you go. And here I draw like this. That's 40 millimeters. Similarly, I can construct the perpendicular line from here. I'm going to draw 40 millimeters. So if I start from 2, 40 millimeters is here. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4 centimeters. So from 2 till 6. Similarly, I draw like this. From two to six. It is done. Now I can easily join these two dots. Same thing this side. I hold the set square. That's it. Okay, now I'll move this edge square like this. From this edge, I'm going to draw a construction line because I don't know how long the line has to be. Similarly, I'll turn my set square like this and then I'm drawing a line. So I see that it is going to join here. Now I know the length. So draw the object line. Last but not the least, this is going to be my last line. That's it. This is how you draw an isometric square. Having completed the isometric cube, the next drawing that we are going to draw is the isometric circles. We are going to draw three isometric circles in a cube, which I am going to draw here. And in this part of the video, I'm going to teach you how to draw the isometric circles on a cube. Now, the isometric circle that is shown here is of 35 millimeters radius, which means that the cube that is shown here should have a side of 70 millimeters. Now, as we have seen how to draw an isometric cube in the previous part of this video, this part of the video is going to be fast forwarded where I will be drawing an isometric cube of side 70 millimeters. Okay, this completes the isometric cube of 70 millimeter side. Now, in this cube, we are going to draw the isometric circle. First, I'll draw this circle, then I'll draw the isometric circle here. And here I'll be drawing the next isometric circle. 
to start drawing the isometric circles first let us draw some construction lines now we will be drawing one isometric circle here then the second one here and third one here so i'm going to show you how to draw the isometric circle in this region so the first and foremost thing that we will do is consider only the uppermost rhombus and then we will draw the diagonals now draw construction lines so that after you complete the isometric circle we will be able to erase everything now once you join the diagonals use the set square and draw a line passing through the intersection point of the diagonals like this same thing in this way passing through the center of the diagonals i have drawn one more construction line now this is how you'll be drawing after this from this point you will draw a line joining this vertex similarly from here you'll draw a line joining this vertex now these are the construction lines that are required to draw an isometric circle the next thing we will do is we will make use of a compass with this as the center and this as the radius like so draw a circle not a complete circle just an arc draw an arc same thing you keep the compass here and then with this as the radius draw an arc the arc should appear something like this now with this as the center and radius from the from here draw an arc repeat the same thing with this as the center and then complete the arc now this completes the first isometric circle let us repeat the same thing for this side and this side we'll be joining the diagonals like so and then like this and now i have to intersect so what i'll do is i'll be bisecting this and this after drawing the diagonals it intersects at this point so have your set square like this such that this side is touching the point of intersection and then draw it like this likewise there should be a line drawn like this so use the set square let the set square pass through the intersection point of intersection and then draw the line likewise after drawing these lines, we'll join this line with this vertex and this line with this vertex, like so. The construction lines are done. So with this as the center and here as the radius, draw an arc. Same thing with this point as the center, place it properly because if you don't place it properly, then you will not get the circle. Then with this as the radius, in fact, it has to be a little bigger. Okay, there you go. And then draw the arc. Done. Now this vertex will become the center and that should be the radius, draw an arc. Repeat the same thing, this vertex becomes the center, draw an arc like this. Okay, done. So the third isometric, second isometric circle is also done. So we'll repeat the same thing again. Okay. 
same thing we are going to repeat this will be the center that will be the radius draw an arc see that i did not measure it because here when i drew it is exactly the same thing here similarly keep at the opposite edge see that you exactly place on the vertex not outside the vertex and then draw an arc you will see that all the isocircles will touch at one point right same thing this will be the center and then adjust the compass such that this becomes the radius and then draw a circle like this same thing with this as the center this as radius draw a circle so now you can see that all the three isometric circles they touch at these edges and thus this completes the isometric circle now we won't need the construction lines so we can erase the construction lines to make this drawing look much neater